Hi friends, welcome back to Happy Oat Home. In today's video, I am going to style a couple shelves of our glass cabinet. I have another video out where I styled the all five shelves of this cabinet and I will link it here, but I'm gonna change out some of the china today. I'm gonna to change out one of the patterns and put in another pattern but what I'm gonna do is show you how I attach the plates to the back and how I get them to stand up in the cabinet. So I hope you will join me. Um, I will turn this around and I will show you what the pattern looks like and give you a close up. But I, for all of you lovely people that enjoy China styling as much as I do, and have such a fondness for China and beautiful patterns and love displaying them. I think this video is for you, so I hope you will join me. If you like it, hit like and subscribe and let's get on with styling of this cabinet. Okay, so this is the pattern that I am going to be putting into the cabinet. I have it all set out. It is a really pretty pattern and the plates are from Germany. Look at the intricacy and the detail. So pretty, such pretty colors. Love the gold rim, right? Any pattern with a gold rim has my heart. Yes, and I have soup bowls right here with double handles and lots of teacups. And it's such a pretty pattern. And I am going to be Replacing, let me show you this pattern in here, one of my favorites with all of the beautiful rose colored florals and the gold rim. I love this pattern. I've had it in here for, well, ever since I styled it. If you look back at my other video, this is what I styled it in. And as you can see, I have the plates standing up in the back. I have a couple plate stands, um, but I do not have the groove in the cabinet, you know, in a tr traditional china cabinet where you can put the plates in. So I have a little trick that I am going to show you on how I get my plates to stand up. Okay, so this is a little bit easier to see. I've opened both doors um, and I have two shelves. As you can see, I have triple layered the ones in the back, and I'm gonna to try to do the same thing with the pattern that I have now, and let's see how it turns out. I'm excited about this. So what I've done is I have removed everything off of the shelf on this first shelf, um, you know, all the plates and saucers that were here on this shelf. And all of these plates on the back are secured in place. Let me show you. You know, if I just gently like tug on them, they're all secured in place. Of course, if I pull really hard, I can get them off, but just to let you know that they all are secured in place, all 12 of them and I am going to show you how I secured them, and I am going to reuse the adhesive that I used for these plates, and I'm gonna put them on my new plates. Okay, so what I'm gonna attempt to do is take the plates off. Hopefully I'm not gonna break anything. You guys are doing this with me, so hopefully we won't break anything, and I will show you what I'm using on the back. All right, so I'm just gonna gently pull them. Okay, so far so good. Okay, so they all came off pretty well. And what I used is just a little bit of putty, if you can see, and then there's just a little bit on the plate back here. And I'm going to take this putty off. It still feels sticky. And I am going to put it on the new plate. 
And then do that for all three of them. So, have a plate right here. I'm just going to place it right back there on the rim. If you can see that, just right on the rim. Actually, you know, actually I'm gonna move it because I was lining it up with the pattern there, but when I turn it around, I feel like the pattern should be like that where the flowers are. So I'm going to put the putty right there. You see that? And then place the plate and just slightly press, slightly press on it until it feels secure, which it does. And then I'm going to do that with all of the pieces taking just the putty off from the back of these pieces. Like this, putting it right there. and just pressing ever so slightly, just so it sticks, not too hard. And then take a small saucer and do the same thing with that. Putting it right just back on the rim. And I will, I will link the um, putty that I am using of course. And there you go. Can you see it? I have all three of them. They feel quite secure. And it looks so pretty. Let me move the camera back a little bit so you can see that. So I am going to continue to do that with all four of these, and then we're going to do some styling here on the top shelf. Okay, I have removed all of the plates in the back, all 12 plates. Um, I did want to mention on the very last large plate that I took off, when I took the putty off of the back of it, it was sticking on the back of the cabinet, a tiny bit of paint did come off with the putty. So the putty was so strong that it did peel a little bit of the paint off, just a very small piece. It's hidden by the plate, not a big deal. Um, we actually had had the inside of the cabinet all painted. So maybe that was part of the issue that it maybe the paint wasn't fully cured. And that's why a little bit of it came off, but just want to mention that not a big deal for me, um, but it did take a little bit off. Just kind of shows you how really uh, strong the putty is. Okay. Okay. So I have gotten both, both shelves done. I did not add the third plate to this row. I actually don't have as many in this set as I did of the others. I don't have a lot of the serving pieces. So I wanted to keep some of the smaller plates to, you know, put on the shelf. If I put a whole nother row of these plates, move that over a little bit. My eye just caught something that was not perfectly straight. Um, so yeah, if, if I, put a third row here, I won't have enough to fill up the shelves. So that's what I'm gonna do. I am just gonna put the rest of the bowls and the small plates on here. And hopefully it will 
it'll fill it up. I think it'll look nice. I just don't have as many as many serving pieces. Okay, so let's start playing with dishes. So exciting. All right, so what I normally do when I start, I take inventory and I try to determine how much I have and how much is gonna fit on the shelf, right? So this is a service for eight. And of course I have four and four, so that works out perfectly. If it were service for, <coughs> excuse me, for 12, I would be using either three shelves to stack them up, or I would be using some of the large plates and putting them on top of the shelf. But since I have two, it works out. I have a service of eight, that works out very well. So if you all know me, you know I love symmetry. So I'm probably gonna do something kind of symmetrical. So hope you guys like it. So I'm gonna start out with just a simple, all I have left are saucers, soup bowls, finger bowls, and teacups. So I need to fill the two shelves with that. What I'm gonna start with, I am going to place one of the saucers right in front of the plates. I don't think that I am going, that's not gonna fill up the space. So what I'm gonna do, so each set is gonna have a teacup on it or probably two teacups because I think I have more teacups than eight, so. Um, so what I'm gonna do is actually kind of just put it back further and closer to the play setting so that I still have these spaces in front to fill up. And I am going to put the teacups on like this. I love showing, you know, the outside and then the inside of the teacup. Um, so I really love displaying them this way. And it displays it very well because you can hook the back of the saucer onto the teacup so that it's secure. If you don't, sometimes it, you know, if you put it, it falls down. If you just stack them, it falls. So if you just hook the back onto it, it's more secure. So that's what I'm gonna do. And I'm going to put eight of them on here. And you could put the you could put them in different directions, you know, with the the handle on the left side or the right side. That doesn't really matter much, just to switch things around. So I did one uh, right, left, right, and then I'll do left with the last set of two. There, that's so pretty, isn't it? Um, so what I'm gonna do on the next shelf, again, I'm going to push them a little further back and closer to the play settings. And here I'm gonna put the soup bowls. And these soup bowls are really pretty, they have Handles on each side, aren't these cute? These are so, so sweet, I love them, so European. And I'm going to place them. And these sit a little more angled. Since they're larger, you don't have to do this. It that actually wouldn't even look very good to do that, um, to hook the back onto the rim. So here you can just lay them in and because of the weight of the handles, they sit better than the teacups do. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna put the back piece. And it's perfect, looks super pretty. I'm gonna do that with all eight of them. Have them face forward. Like that. And here you go. With the last set. I guess you could even turn them around like that. 
So the handles are going this way and then there's one in the front. Um, but I don't know, I'm not sure I like that actually. I think I like them better where they are both on the left and the right side. So you can actually see the design on the front. Okay, so what do we have left? I have a few finger bowls left. I have all of this space in the front. So I'm going to fill in the space between each of the play settings. And I have some more, these are the saucers for the soup bowls. So I'm just gonna place them in here. So here we have sort of like a triangle. And I have enough where I can put two between each. I'll do a close-up afterwards. And now I am going to put these adorable little finger bowls on the plates in the front. Isn't that looking great? I love it. So I have just a few pieces left, one, two, three, five pieces left and I am going to just, what am I gonna do? So I have an extra teacup. So where should I put my extra teacup? How about I could place it here in the corner or I could just place it in the middle since I only have one left. All right, now I have a couple extra saucers. So what I could do here, is I could place it on the end if there's enough room. There is not, that's getting a little tight and I don't wanna to get too tight. So what I'm gonna do with these two saucers is I will, I can stack them right back here on, yeah, I only have two left, on this place setting and that place setting. So that's what I'm gonna do. And I have some putty left. So this stuff is great, you know, Again, it's all reusable. You know, I'm reusing the same stuff that I put a couple years ago, whenever I did this last video. I know so many of you have watched the video, so thank you for that. There you go. So I am just going to use the rest of my putty. these two place settings in the middle with three plates and the ones on the end have two plates. And lastly, I have two little finger bowls. And where should I put those? How about if I stack them up here? Actually, you know, maybe I will balance it and put them down here since these only have two plates, these have three plates. This kind of, I feel like it balances balances things a little bit better. Um, so I have two, one, and two. Yeah, and that's it. What do you all think? I love it. I love playing with dishes. Do you guys love playing with dishes as much as I do? It's fun, isn't it? All right, I am going to uh, take that camera off and I'm going to do a close up and show you how it looks. I hope you all liked the video. Please like and subscribe and I will see you again soon. One last thing before we go that I wanted to mention when I put the plates on the back, this is just like a little um, information tip. When I put the plates in the back and I press them against the wall, I have them at a little bit of a slant. I don't have them completely vertical um, because I feel if the putty does come undone, which it hasn't, that everything could fall forward. But if things are just at a slight angle, I feel like it has a better chance of not falling forward. So that's the way that I install them. And the same with the plates in front of them, just at a tiny 
bit of an angle, not completely vertical and not pushed so much where it even looks like this, where, you know, if things fall, everything's gonna fall in front. So not like this, not even like this, just at a tiny, tiny angle. So there's a little tip for you all. Mm -hmm.